Hey everyone's Dev here, and today I'm checking out the official release to Retropolis 2. See, I told you all, it was just a matter of time when this sequel, as its prequel, <laughs> will be released officially on the store. When there's good quality going on, Meta will for sure push it faster, because then why something good would be sitting forever on App Lab if it's not like checking the requirements. So Retropolis 2 is a sequel to the point and click adventure game where set one year after the events of the first title a retired detective Philip Log is going on his second mission to what have happened with the famous actress Jenny Montage and piece together the puzzles given by the magician. I already did an overview on this hence why we're gonna start a bit later in the story. From what I recall the most amount of issues happening were with the performance and frame drops in certain scenes that nowadays and I can confirm has been fixed and then me complaining about the first puzzle of the game being really hard to pass the devs made sure to give some sort of an escape mechanism to use if you'd have some rough time as well as some mini walkthroughs towards certain sections. I mean short summary is that I love the game, there's no surprise here. It absolutely deserves to be on the store and coming from the prequel experience, at least in terms of the storyline it did its justice and everything was pretty much upgraded all across the board. Very rarely there's a situation where a perfect game comes around but Retropolis series always stood out with its polish and just love to the genre, like playing this game, you can immediately tell that the devs are just a passionate bunch of people and they're doing stuff out of sheer compassion. Let's go back to Philip Log. Alright, so we're back to this godforsaken puzzle that pretty much requires me to remember 9 numbers in a row which is impossible for me. So the easiest solution to this is just to write it down on paper and then read it as it goes. It does seem like the devs introduced a skip button if you don't want to take that chance, but like... It is very rough as a first puzzle of the game. Fortunately the combination repeats itself, like it's not randomized. What was that? So we got a uh, film tape. Don't you want to watch something else? Now! Go home! Ma'am, I need this. A never-ending cycle of pointless violence, also known as mainstream entertainment. I need to turn this off somehow. Empty glasses and bottles. Someone should clean them up. They're done serving for tonight. The view of the city is stunning, but it always makes me feel insignificant. Hey there, who are you? Hello, my name is Mrs. Clean Your Bar Every Night Bot. Catchy. Thanks. Too bad I hate cleaning. <laughs> Well, this is a game that you search for solutions. And I think I just found one. <laughs> it's a smoke detector. It's an ashtray filled with a night's worth of nuts and bolts. No sorcery. Well, that's oddly specific. 
I don't want to steal their mugs. They'll know I did it. I need to overheat something, but like... Yeah, there we go. Think before you act, Philip. Why? <laughs> It'll just put off the Scrugoret. It'll just put off the Scrugoret. Yeah, but I mean, this is the logical thing. Think before you act, Philip. It'll just put off the Scrugoret. I'm done with distilled motor oil. I'm not as young as I used to be. Okay, well, I'll figure something out. I have paper, so I should light it up. Hmm. Hmm. It'll just put off the Scrugoret. It'll just put off the Scrugoret. I'm so confused, like... It's not smoking anymore, so... I feel like I need to restore the level. And now, when I want to come back to the game... It doesn't allow them. <laughs> How? Is the game filled with more bugs than its previous state? Like, that's a talent. <sighs> Screws. Since the day I was built, I've been trying to quit them. Well, I guess it didn't cross my mind because I'm not a smoker. <sighs> All that effort for nothing. Wow, you have a breath. Burning classified evidence. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Best detective ever. Also, I didn't know how to light it up, so... It was just misinformation. <laughs> There's no way I'm cleaning this up. Bye. Ah, it's hot! Stupid, Philip, stupid! Fine, I can progress. Hello, Mr. X. I'm the magician, and I want to share with you a little secret of mine. That's why I wanted to invite you to a private show. Aren't you lucky? Now, I want you to imagine something. Anything you wish to see here on the screen. Don't be shy now. Count with me. Three, two, one, and... Ta-da! It's me, the one and only, Jenny Montage. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. X, my dear Jenny. Hello, Mr. X. I want you to know that I fell in love with the magician and forgot all about you. Oh, Jenny, you're the best assistant a magician could ever hope for. Care for a dance? I was afraid you'd never ask. <laughs> now, stand still. That was only a preview. If you want to see Jenny again, come to the lighthouse by yourself. I'll know when you watch this. You have one hour to be there. And bring this suitcase with you. You know what suitcase I'm talking about. I had no idea who Mr. X was, or what he had to do with the magician. Was it me? Was it Merrick? Could it be someone else who's actually named Mr. X? In any case, I had the money, 
and it was enough for me to drive to the lighthouse, and I did so as fast as I could. <laughs> what? Adorable. Here's the money. Oh God, another puzzle. In the same style? I'm not liking this magician guy now. At least it was something easier than before. Cause it really relied on my memory. Hello, Mr. X, and welcome to the old lighthouse. The most romantic place in the city. I'm sorry I can't be there tonight. However, there's someone else here to entertain you. Don't you keep her waiting. She's dying to see you. Okay. It seems to be a hand with a white glove. Looks like this hand wants something. Never thought I'd say that. There's only one thing I'm using this money for. Okay. That's not the way to use a film reel. Returning locations. There's no way to help him. Once the robot's inner circuits shut down, there's no bringing them back. Besides Jenny. It's a card. Hug. Holy, there's a lot of stuff here. to a chain. I can't see anything interesting about it. I can't see anything interesting about it. I can't see anything interesting about it. There's some kind of circuit system. I'm still not sure what to do with this. Oh my god! <laughs> I 
And now it's a horror game, cool. That's not fair. <laughs> what the Okay, this is more straightforward. <laughs> the player was, I think, downstairs. Have you figured out why I gave you this name, Mr. X? It's a funny story. When I finally got my hands on Jenny, I did everything I could to make her talk. But she wouldn't tell me anything about her ex-lover. She wanted to keep you safe. So I killed her. But it wasn't goodbye. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Am I right, Mr. X? I don't blame you. I learned about the Sapphire Nucleus from Senator Merrick. I knew that using her, I could put on the perfect show. What is this? Okay, well, I think we're done here, except for the lamp. I thought that's gonna be a solution. I better think of something else. Another one? Huh. Okay, well, I'm just selling puzzles at this point and I don't want to give away every solution before I'm gonna actually do a full playthrough. Besides the convolution, that I don't know if I included in the finished clip. It's a good old Retropolis universe. I'm not totally sure if the environments are more polished than before, but it's definitely way more puzzle heavy, maybe because of the magician's nature and theme. 
I love the game regardless. It has such a specific vibe that not a lot of games manage to convey on the platform. One day I'll continue this. Right now it's just impossible for me to do so. But I'm very glad it transitioned to the official store because it easily deserves it.